the Mega Man X4 task just got even crazier. And that's because this time, not only are we playing as X instead of Zero, but we're also going to be collecting 100% of the items as opposed to just three heart tanks that Zero did in the any percent task. Now, there is also a 0% task that ironically does not have Zero in it, where you collect none of the items, but if you want to see that, leave a comment down below. Also, I did get a comment in the last video saying I should credit the task authors because I joke around and refer to tasks as a robot, but it is true. There are people who make these tasks. It takes months. They're always credited in the actual videos. It should be on screen, and the original video is always in the description below. So if you're at all interested in these tasks and want to learn more, please look at the original video in the description. Go to taskvideos.org, I believe. It will be linked down there too, and uh, you can find out a lot more about the people who make these tasks because without them, it's not like there's literally an AI robot making these tasks. I joke around and say Tass is a robot. Tass is the greatest speedrunner ever, but in reality, it's a community of Mega Man fans and speedrunners who literally code these tasks to be as perfect as possible. And as we can see, they've coded Mega Man to jump every second. Just, oh, 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 oh. Is that going to happen the whole run? <laughs> I guess it's faster to do that. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely go check those guys out. Um, I always leave it on screen because the task videos have it on screen. So check them out. Obviously, they're very talented. I don't know how to do task stuff. I just know how to uh, beat tasks in that one specific world record in Mega Man Legacy Collection. But anyway. Uh, here we go. We're fighting the dragon boss, and this guy looks like he's going to be really powerful. Never mind. Uh, he's dead. And of course, just like last time, we're going to be starting off with Magma Dragoon. Now, I will be honest. I don't know where every item in Mega Man X4 is off the top of my head like I do with most of the other Mega Man X games, like X1 through 3 specifically at least. But So I can't really comment on the route, but I do know we have to do at least one revisit. Uh, we'll see what that is. I can't tell you what it is. But let's see how this stage goes. We're still seeing more of these crazy jumps. I never would have guessed it's faster to jump like this, but uh, it's at least funny that Mega Man's constantly making that noise. <laughs> you would think, you know, just dashing would be faster, but like I said in uh, the last video talking about Mega Man X4, Mega Man X4 just holding the dash button gives you those after images because you're going so fast. So I guess even the jumps are faster. I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know a lot about the phys physics of Mega Man X4. I've beaten the game multiple times, but I never speed ran this game. I've seen a couple of speed runs of this game, but I don't fully understand the technical details of all that. But clearly it's faster because Taz is doing it. And uh, everything Taz does is perfect. It cannot be improved upon as far as we know. Sometimes it gets improved upon, but... Again, check out taskvideos.org. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's .org. Check them out if you want to see it. And that was a crazy fast stage. I guess there was a method to the hoo -ha 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 -hoo -hoo madness that we just saw right there. And now it's time to face Magma Dragoon, the Street Fighter expert. This guy knows a lot of Tekken moves. <laughs> That's still funny, right, guys? When I called the sure you get from Tekken. You guys always laugh at that joke. But uh, unlike Zero... Mega Man X cannot SDC or Saber Dash cancel, so we just had to do the fight like that, but it was still done very quickly, so good job, Mega Man X. And next up, we have Web Spider, and I hate spiders. Despite hating spiders, though, I will say, this stage is very pretty, and I do enjoy it, and we should be getting an upgrade here. Now, we should be getting an upgrade in every stage, because there are a lot of upgrades in this game, at least, usually two per stage at minimum. You get a heart tank every stage, and then an armor capsule, but this is the one I was talking about. I know the dash boots were here. I do know that much about Mega Man X4. So we get to visit old Dr. Light. We didn't see that in the last video with Zero. And uh, we got some boots. Mega Man's got some new shoes. Those are the Jordan 25s, I believe. I don't know. But yeah, what's, we're still not seeing any dashing. We're just, <laughs> I guess we're going to see this the whole time. That's kind of hysterical. I, I'm going to warn you in advance. I'll probably comment on that constantly. Ooh, nice job jumping on those logs off screen. That is incredibly difficult to do. I don't know when they spawn in or are able to be jumped on, but... That's obviously harder than it looks, and of course, wall jumping off the ladders to go a little bit faster, blowing up that wall, and continuing on to the second area of the jungle, as the game calls it. And here we are. This is where the real thrush, the thick of the jungle, begins. Yeah, here we are. Uh, <laughs> this, we're just still seeing Mega Man jump around. We're about to see a lot of beehives. Um, bee, bees are pretty cool, but Mega Man does not seem to like those bees. Doesn't seem like any of these enemies, really. Mega Man's killing a lot of robots unnecessarily. Now, we do have the fire power, so we will be blowing this up and doing the shortcut. That's faster than going over it. Oh, there was a secret there as well. What was that? Was that a heart tank? 
I didn't even get to see, but we went through both shortcuts this time. That first one was not a shortcut. It appeared to just be a hard tank. The second one was a shortcut though. So we got one hard tank and one armor upgrade capsule, I believe. But now it's time to take on Web Spider. Let's see how this goes. Now Zero took him out back into the top of the screen where we couldn't see him, where his invincibility frames don't exist apparently, and just really messed him up. And right there, X kind of did the same thing. He used those dash boots to hover in the air. And when he's off screen, he just spammed the button. I don't know what, I actually was just sure you could up there, it wasn't doing any damage though, that's that's a shame. X, you probably should have done some damage up there, I would say, but, I, I, you know what, who am I to judge Mega Man X, am I right? He just killed Web Spider, either way, so, good job Mega Man X. And next up we have Storm Owl, or as I like to call him, Nerdy Storm Eagle. Maybe Nerdy Storm Eagle is a little bit harsh, I mean, owls are cool in real life, but I just, this guy specifically, just... I don't know. If you like, if you like Storm Owl, that's cool. I'm not going to judge you. Oh, and we get into Ride Armor, meaning we're not going to hear hoo ha 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 hoo 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 ha hoo hoo it's, I mean, not that I mind hearing that. We got another Heart Tank. That, that's two of the list. We got six remaining. Is there another upgrade in this? There is another upgrade in this stage. You got to use the uh, Web Spider thing, but we might see some invincibility frame shenanigans, so uh, look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if we'll actually see it, but... I hope we do, because that would be a lot more entertaining than the Web Spider strategy that you guys, uh probably know about the normal way to get this upcoming upgrade <laughs> here we go again with these jumps i mean <laughs> i gotta start walking around like this in real life all right okay the web spider thing okay you know what i did say the web spider thing would be lame but that was pretty clean i'm not gonna lie normally when i see the web spider thing it's not as clean as that because it's normally not tasked but it would have been cool to see some invincibility frames but i guess that's not possible so you know if it was possible i'm sure tasks would have done it but now we gotta destroy this uh, eyeball in the wall, the eye wall, and uh, apparently it blows up this entire room. And here we go, X doing more vertical things, we love that. And here we are in Storm Owl's Arena. And it's time for the battle to commence. We have four stored charge shots. And I remember when I talked about my best and worst upgrades from every video, I think I said this um, version of the charge shot was worse than the other one. And um, people pointed out that in the speed runs it is more useful. And you know what? That is my bad. I'll say it, that's my bad. I didn't, I wasn't, I'm not very familiar with the Mega Man X4 speedrun, so I didn't think about it that way. I'd normally just like having a bigger shot and whatever, but obviously that upgrade is useful because we're probably going to be seeing a lot of it since we just saw it right there, and it could do more damage, so uh, yeah, good job, Mega Man X. And next up, we have Frost Walrus. Now, somebody in the comment section said that Blizzard Buffalo is frozen here because apparently in the Mega Man X manga, um, there's some crazy stuff like a Blizzard Buffalo. Okay, we just got a heart tank out of nowhere. That's sick. Love to see that. What is that, three now? But yeah, apparently in the manga, Blizzard Buffalo sacrifices himself to save Mega Man X, and uh, yeah, there, there's some manga lore. I've never read the manga, I don't know how to read, and also I have gotten some comments saying I should credit the commenters when I mention them, and okay, what is that, sub tank or a weapon tank? I can't even tell, but I forgot Mega Man X4 is a little weird when it comes to that stuff. And uh, normally I do credit the comments in my normal videos when I'm not looking at a task video, but uh, these videos I just, I don't know, they're, they're produced very quickly, and also I can't read, so I normally... You know, I get, I get my assistant to tell me that somebody commented that, so I, I can't, like, read and go back and track it, but, you know, stick around, guys. Whenever I start doing the uh, normal videos again, like the best mini-boss from every Mega Man X game, which that guy may or may not be included in, you leave comments on that video, I'll obviously screenshot and put it in the video. You can look at those old videos. I always do that, but in these videos, because it's live commentary, I don't remember their names. I'm just, I'm just trying to talk about what I remember seeing. So I apologize for not giving credit to the commenters, but, uh... At least, at least you were acknowledged, guys. Was that was that another sub tank? I don't. Is there two sub tanks and a weapon tank in this? I don't. I genuinely don't know about all the upgrades. I, I'm sorry, guys. I sound like a Mega Man X noob right now, but the first three Mega Man X games, I'm an expert in. This X four, five, and six, I know a decent bit about. I'm a little rusty. I can beat the games pretty quickly, but I don't know everything. But anyway, it's time to fight Frost Walrus. And there he is, the Frost Walrus himself. Now we're using a mix of charge shots and weapon weakness, it looks like. And it seems like if you do the weapon weakness while he's on the ground right there, it doesn't force him into the uh, weapon invincibility frames. Because as you can see, he catches on fire sometimes when you use this weapon against him, which I assume has more invincibility frames, and therefore he has a longer period of time where he can't be damaged, which is slower. I don't know though, it seemed like mostly the weapon was just used, so it was just a pretty optimized fight with normal strategies, so uh, good job Mega Man X! What's this? A spotlight on top of Mega Man X? Mega Man X has to fight the Colonel! Oh my goodness Mega Man X! Be careful, this guy has a lightsaber and a red one! That means he's a Sith Lord! Mega Man using ice powers because that is what the Colonel is weak to, and uh, he is 
narrowly dodging these lightsaber shots. That's very impressive. It seems like the Colonel uh, hasn't died, but has at the very least been defeated and teleported out bit and bite style. And next up is Jet Stingray. And again, this stage is not as bad as uh, the one for Mega Man X5, if you're picking up what I'm putting down here, but... Uh, Bike stages are usually not the best. I do like the one for Mega Man X8. I'm not sure what that was so different about that one. That one's pretty fun. And this one again is not bad. I mean, compared to the one for Mega Man X5, you could give me almost any level ever and it would be better. But may maybe... Okay, we just got another hard take. I believe that's four if I'm keeping count. But uh, I don't know how to count very well. So if I'm not keeping count well, I apologize. Anyway, not much to really see here. We're just going to be dashing as much as possible because that's obviously faster than not dashing. But at least we don't have to hear Mega Man go, hoo ha hoo 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 ha hoo hoo hoo. Uh, but I, yeah, we'll, we'll probably hear that more <laughs> coming up. Just some more dashes coming up. That's probably, we're just going to be seeing only dashes because for some reason the dash on the bike kills everything, including Jet Stingray as we just saw. We just ran into Jet Stingray and he is now exploding. But for some reason that doesn't do any real damage to him in the boss fight. I guess that makes him leave you alone for a minute, but hey, look, if I made this game, I would make him start at like 75% health, maybe 80% health or something if you managed to do that, but I would also make it harder to do because I that would make this boss fight even easier than it already is. Hey, another upgrade. That looks like a sub tank if I've ever seen one. Oh, and here's, there, there's, <laughs> there are those jumps. And here's Jet Stingray. There he is. I wonder how this fight's gonna go. Zero had to wait for him to go underwater to do the SDC, as we saw multiple times. But Mega Man, of course, does not have the Z Saber. So we're just seeing a... Oh my goodness! Did you guys see the dodging of those little stingrays down there? Good grief! Mega, do we got Twinkle Toes over here? Oh my gosh! Mega Man X! That was insane dodging! Oh my... <laughs> I am gobsmacked. And next up, we have Slash Beast. Now, this stage is on a moving train, and it's a very good stage, but it has one main flaw. When you get to the end of the train, there is a little clumsy guy who has a grenade in his hand, and he freezes the whole game, slowly walks up like a goofball, drops a grenade, falls into the hole. Like, I mean, it didn't even really stop Mega Man. It just slowed everybody down that guy didn't fall into the hole at least that's a little bit better but uh, he immediately died immediately got completely destroyed but uh yeah maybe i'm just an impatient human being and i will say I, I i am in video game circumstances i would say i'm pretty impatient but at the same time what three times do you really need to watch this three times i get it there's some guys with bombs who are blowing up the train cool i get it but what, it's been like 10 seconds already. I've not doing anything. This is a speed run for goodness sake. And Mega Man just destroyed that mini boss. Oh my gosh. The sure you can the laser beam combo just really blew that thing up. Goodness me. I mean, that, that's not particularly a hard boss. A lot of the weapon damage uh, from any weapon does a ton of damage, especially Split Mushroom's weapon, if I remember correctly. But I don't know if it's weak to Split Mushroom. I just remember I used Split Mushroom on that and it died pretty quick. But apparently, you could use any weapon. It doesn't matter. It, they, they always die quick. We got another heart tank. I think that's five. Maybe six. I'm losing count already. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I think that's five. And the train is stopping. What could this be? Surely not another guy with a bomb. That would be... That would be uh, weird. Oh, it stopped because there were, there were holes in the tracks. Presumably because these guys with bombs blew up those holes in the tracks. We're, we hop on another train, of course. How else is Slash Beast going to come in on a very interesting uh, uh, intro? Interesting intro is sounds, it's a weird thing to say. That's why I, I stopped there. It sounded like I was saying it wrong, but I guess it's just alliteration. Anyway, there he is. Here's his interesting intro. He runs so fast, smashes a box, and he's just called Beast, not even Slash Beast. And here he goes. This is his weapon weakness. We're not seeing any SDC. We're just killing him the old-fashioned way. He's he's jumping across the stage, slamming into the wall, and then immediately getting shot by these Jet Stingray lasers. And there he goes, down for the count. Slash Beast was made a joke of. And we see a more beautiful outside scenery as he dies. So good job, Mega Man X. It appears we are now going back to Magma Dragoon stage now. I, I couldn't tell you exactly why, but I could sure guess. We're probably going to be getting some upgrades. I'm, I'm assuming a heart tank and maybe even an armor capsule. But it could be a sub tank. I, again, I don't remember where everything is in this game. I've been it many times, I swear. I'm not a Mega Man noob. But uh, this game is so easy, I just... I don't know. I've never looked anything up. I just play the game. <laughs> Beat it. I don't know. This is a fun game, though. Maybe I'll play it again on stream, because it's been a while since I played Mega Man X4. So... 
I don't know. If you guys want to see live streams, let me know in the comments. I've been wanting to do that for a long time, but uh, it's hard to set up, guys. But I would love to do live streams. It'd be very fun. On YouTube and or Twitch. We could do some Mega Man on YouTube, some other stuff on Twitch. Who knows? But right now, Mega Man is jumping around as per usual. We're going to the left side up there. Getting another heart tank. I believe that is number six with the web spider thing. That was crazy. That was a cool jump. And uh, that was a hard jump. And we get an armor capsule, of course. This is the chest plate. I don't even... I, what does this give you? The giga attack? I don't, I don't even know. What does this What does this give you? Is this is just half your damage? That I mean, really, ha having the damage, I would say, is the best uh, upgrade for Mega Man X1. But whatever. Anyway, it's time for Split Mushroom stage, apparently. I just saw on the stage select. The Split Mushroom is right there. Well, here we go. We got the stairs ready. Mega Man X is just jumping up the, the backwards long jump from Super Mario 64 makes its appearance in Mega Man X4. Now, I don't know which of these games came out first. I'm pretty sure it was Mario 64 this, since this is a PlayStation 1 game, but I could be wildly off. I think Mario 64 came out in 1996. I don't know when Mega Man X4 came out, but they came out very close together, if I had to guess. But I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know. Ooh! But I just remember, we are going to see a very cool glitch here. Not not counting the forwards long jump by Mega Man X, but check this out, gamers. Check this out. We got the Shoryuken out. Ooh! We, we didn't even use the Shoryuken. Wait, what? What? No. What? Mega Man. You could skip this guy. Okay, no, he did. It was skipped. It was skipped. Okay, I was confused. I've seen that in uh, real-time speedruns. I was watching a mod speedrun, a guy who's... Uh, videos we've seen before i've shouted him out before check him out he's a mega man speedrunner he speedruns other games as well i've seen him speedrun mega man x4 and when he speedruns it he skips it by using the uh charged up magma dragoon power he can somehow do a jump that skips that mini boss completely and it's so cool to see but doing it with web spider is also interesting i've obviously never seen that before that's why i was in shock but clearly the skip still works there's just some trigger right there that i assume you're jumping over that just the game is like i guess i guess you didn't kill him any I guess the mini bosses didn't spawn it. I don't know. I don't know what the game thinks. I'm not a video game. I don't know how they think. Once again, Mega Man twinkle toes in around, narrowly dodging all the bullets, all the bombs, while jumping up and down, dodging the flowers. The blazers come back by. It's turned into a bullet heck game, ladies and gentlemen. What is this? The the Toho project? Goodness gravy. Oh, and we and we got the screen scroll with the Shoryuken. A web spider thing just to make the wall jump easier. Oh my gosh, this sure you could for Mega Man X is really doing numbers. We're completely off screen now. Mega Man X, where did you go? If I was playing the game and this happened, I'd say soft lock. But I guess Mega Man X beat the elevator by so much that the game was like, Mega Man X, chill out. You are not allowed to fight Split Mushroom until the elevator arrives. And Mega Man's on the left side of the screen as well. He's going to get hit immediately. But I guess that means Mega Man X can also hit Split Mushroom immediately. And he did. Of course. Never doubt Tass or the or the talented people who create Tass. They know what they're doing. Oh my gosh, he's killing him. Using the Giga Attack and everything. I think that was faster than the Zero fight. You just destroyed Split Mushroom. That was... What a good fight. Really, the, the journey to that fight was a lot cooler. But either way, good job, Mega Man. Was that a black pixel I saw in the top right? Are we going to see some glitched artifacts? Is this Rockman and Forte all over again? Either way, good job. Up next, we have Cyber Peacock, the alleged Femboy. Here we are in Mega Man Battle Network, it appears. And uh, again, I've never played the Mega Man Battle Network games. I did play Mega Man Network Transmission on the GameCube, and I did enjoy that game, actually, when I was a kid. It's been a very long time since I've played it, but I got it for the GameCube when I was a kid. I love that game. But I've never played any of the Battle Network games. I will one day. I know you guys really want me to. I did recently get the Battle Network collection on Steam, so maybe I can live stream those. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know if I should live stream them and play them blind for you guys, or if I should play them separately and then make a review video, or maybe I could play them blind on stream and make a video. I don't know. If you guys are interested in Battle Network, let me know in the comments. But, oh, by the way, a heart tank and a sub tank. I believe that's all eight heart tanks and probably all the upgrades, but we'll see. If we revisit anybody else after this, there's another upgrade, but... I'll be honest though, guys, I'm probably not going to like Mega Man Battle Network as much as the other Mega Man games because I'm a big platformer fan and uh, I haven't really played a lot of RPGs other than like Undertale and I, I know it's they're very different, but maybe I'll like it. Who knows? I'm, I'm definitely willing to try them out. So, I mean, it's Mega Man. Obviously, I like the design. I like Mega Man. Oh, and this is the last upgrade. Duh. Doi. What was I thinking? I, we, we literally are helmetless this whole time. Golly. 
<sighs> now we have infinite weapon energy. As long as you don't charge it up, I'm pretty sure is what that helmet upgrade does. And that is maybe the best helmet upgrade of all time. I would say so for the bait, but I cannot think of a better helmet upgrade than that. I guess there's some cool ones in Mega Man X8, but let's not even open up that can of worms. But anyway, let's, let's, let's stay on topic here, guys. Stop getting me off topic. It's your fault, not mine. That was the joke. Please don't take that personally. But uh, yeah, stuff's turning upside down. We got a city in the background. We got some this is Marble Madness for the NES. A good game. Maybe I'll play that one day. But it's Mega Man X4 time, and now it's time to fight Cyber Peacock. Here is Cyber Peacock. How is this going to go? We got a big eyeball in the background. Uh, a little bit creepy. I don't know if that's really an eyeball, but it certainly looks like one, and it creeps me out. Mega Man is dodging these heat-seeking missiles. Crazy. He's making it look easy. Come on, Mega Man X. I mean, you're locked on. Target's locked on. How are you dodging these? Oh, and finishing with a Giga Attack. Really messing up Cyber Peacock there. He has such a look of shock. Almost looks like one of my thumbnails. <laughs> you guys love those, right? Look, I only do them like that because it gets clicks on YouTube, okay? I don't control the YouTube algorithm. But anyway, it's time for these spaceport stages, or as I like to call them, the Sigma stages. But uh, if I were to say that, people would say I'm wrong in the comment section. That's my biggest nightmare. People on the internet telling me I'm wrong? I'd rather die. Anyway, uh, we see Mega Man jumping up and down. I love that. That is actually really funny. I know I've commented on it a few times, but he just doesn't stop jumping, does he? Ooh, and a nice short you can to jump up there quickly. That's some good tech. And uh, that was a short stage. We're, we're going to be fighting the Colonel again, I believe. But I guess we'll need to wait and see. First, we just have a warning. What could this warning be? Maybe uh, the bus is delayed? Nope, nope, it was the Colonel. All right, he just showed up with lightning. Show me what you've got. Emperor Palpatine style. Ooh, just dropping it on him. Once again, the weakness is doing more damage this time, it seems. Seems like this fight is somehow easier than the first one. I don't know why that would be. We had the upgraded gun before this, but uh, the Colonel has been killed. The Colonel has been killed. I'm sure Iris won't be happy about that. I guess Mega Man X is going to have to fight Iris. But before we fight Iris, we have a uh, weapon uh, satellite stage 2. And oh my goodness, using Cyber Peacock's weapon like that, that was crazy. I've never, oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I said this weapon was pretty bad in my worst weapons video, but after seeing that, I might have to change it. Wait, uh, that's not Iris. What the heck is that? That looks like somebody from Dr. Robotnik's mean beam machine. What the heck is that? Is that a leg? I'm gonna recycle you. Oh, well, that's just not cool. Mega Man does not need to be recycled. What are you, Dust Man? It, uh, it, in all seriousness, Double uh, was the guy on the stage select screen who was X's friend. For some reason, he double crosses X. He was a plant. I'm a real... I don't know how to read, so I don't know the story. And I don't know why Iris has no problems with Mega Man X, but if the Mega Man X version is canon, maybe Iris and Zero get together. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I'm not sure which one is canon, actually. I guess I should look into that. Maybe if I do a video on the story of Mega Man X, if you guys want to watch that, I could... It'd be, that'd be a long-form video. That's up to you guys. Once again, seeing the Cyber Peacock weapon just melting everything. My goodness gracious. Ooh. Ooh, not even picking up the ride armor. Doing some almost impossible jumps. Crazy stuff. And once again, this room looks like Mega Man X6. I guess it's the red carpet. I don't know why else it would look like Mega Man X6. I'm saying it's the red carpet and uh, nobody can stop me. Now, this guy looks like a bigger version of the Colonel. And that's because he is the general. Not the general that gives you car insurance, but uh, the general that gives you an aneurysm because, uh, well, he's actually not that hard of a fight, but. I'd actually go as far as to say this is an easy fight, especially if you use this weapon and this strategy, but. Tass makes everything look easy, and in hindsight, everything's way easier, so who knows? Maybe you guys have trouble with this guy. I wouldn't blame you. Mega Man can be hard, but uh, Tass has once again done a great job, almost killing the general. He's not fully dead. Hope I'm sure that won't come back up later. Here we are in the final weapon stage four, or as I like to call it, Sigma stage four. And uh, we're filling up our sub tanks for some reason. Don't know why that is. It's not like there's a Hadouken or a Shoryuken in this game. But it's time for the refights. And of course, we're starting with Magma Dragoon. He was the first to die. He's going to be the first to die again. But uh, unless we lose the fight, in which case, that wouldn't be good. We do have four lives, so I guess we could afford to lose the fight. But nope, Magma Dragoon has died again. Here's Storm Owl. Let's see how this goes. Are we going to give him a taste of his own medicine? 
I guess that doesn't really make sense. Storm Owl never killed us, but it looks like Storm Owl has already died again. And yes, I'm going to be saying this again. Ross Walrus comes into the battlefield, and what are we going to do about it? We're probably going to kill him if I had to guess, but uh, you never know with Tass. Maybe Tass will uh, forwards long jump outside the room and skip straight to Sigma. You never know with this guy. Uh, nope, nope. Frost Walrus did die again. It's Slash Beast. Oh my goodness gracious. How are we going to deal with this guy? This guy was a... Uh, uh, I'm not even gonna lie. This guy wasn't very difficult the first time. Surely we can take him out this time with even more upgrades. And we did! Again! Blitz Mushroom enters the scene. And we had a much easier time than Zero did with this guy. Not that Zero had a hard time, but, uh... Seems like Mega Man X does this fight a little bit faster than Zero, I would say. But, uh... I don't know. Maybe not. I haven't timed these out like the Tassers have, but... Either way, Split Mushroom has died! Again, and it's time for uh, Jet Stingray. That's his name. Almost forgot for a second. He kind of looks like a zebra. Does anybody else think that? I mean, I know he's clearly shaped like a stingray, but like his head looks like a zebra. He looks like a zebra with a jetpack, and uh, yeah, I don't know. But Mega Man is once again doing some crazy dodges on those stingrays on the ground. That's insanity. He not only killed Jet Stingray, but did the Twinkle Toe Strat again. Cyber Peacock, eh? We all know this guy's up to no good. We better stop him before it's too late, Mega Man. And I assume we're using these charge shots because, uh, once again, the invincibility frames, if you use the weakness on Cyber Peacock, I think the invincibility frames are actually, like, pretty annoying to deal with. So we'll probably see the final hit with that. Yep, and we did, of course, see the final hit with his actual weakness. And uh, Cyber Peacock has died. 